exploit is coming. And today, I will prepare you guys how to defeat it and how to play it. I want you guys to stop what you guys are doing. Stop. Just stop right now, okay? Just stop right now. And I want you guys, right now, while you have time, I release the most beautiful playmat I've ever released in my life. The Splite Destroying Conquering the Meta. Splite Frogs Conquering the Meta. The playmat is almost sold out. There's only 30 left. So make sure to get yours right now while you guys still have time so you guys could conquer the meta with me. With that being said, it's time to get into the video. Full guide on Splite, deck profile, combo tutorial, and replay. Let's go. The best way to learn how to play Splite is to watch the best player in the planet, Truff Gaming, baby, against another Splite mirror match. This is going to be a Splite mirror match where you guys can learn very well exactly what you guys need to know how to play Splite and how to defeat Splite. Because let me promise you, man, this deck is a tier zero deck, especially because tier elements are missing like the best part of the engine, which is a Shizu. Uh, all that engine comes out in November. So from now until November, until Draco Slayers come to clap this deck up, this deck is going to run rampant. So this video here is going to teach you guys exactly what you guys need to know to defeat this deck. So stay till the end of the video and let's get it. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys right now. I'm telling you guys right now, before you even continue, I said it before, www.trifgaming.com. Get the, get the play map. Get the play map while you guys get. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Your skills will develop just by playing on the beautiful mat. All right, let's get into it. So you're going to look at my hand and you're going to see Nimble Beaver. So in the OCG, tip number one here for you guys to learn about this deck is the OCG has Max C. The OCG has Deep Sea Diva with Needle Fiber as a method to search Max C, literally to search Max C from the deck by special summoning Max C and then adding it back to the hand. But because we do not have Max C, this Deep Sea Diva strategy with Needle Fiber and, you know, special summoning a hand trap, whatever, it doesn't really help us as much because we don't really have Max C and searching Ash Blossom is not that crazy. So Nimble Beaver is basically another, D another Deep Sea Diva, except slightly better because it can also special from the graveyard. So here we can go Nimble Beaver, special Nimble Beaver. We're going to Prosperity for six here. And we're going to search uh, basically any card in the deck. Uh, consider Nimble Beaver a Deep Sea Diva, okay? This is one switch instantly that you can learn from OCG to TCG. It's not the same. It's a completely different meta that uh, I do believe Nimble Beaver is slightly better than Deep Sea Diva, but they're basically the exact same card. Here we're going to go Jet. I could have done a scenario here, so my Gigantic Spike gets ashed. This is a slight error. I could have gone Jet. And then starter, bring out blue. Blue, bring out carrot. And carrot would, would negate any card that stops my gigantic splite. And that's a misplay right there. I probably should have done that. But I'm up to go for this route instead. I now uh, go into those two. I special splite red. I go splite elf. And I set up a uh, a board of follow-ups. And I get dark ruler. I'm like, all right, this is fine. We still have effect veiler. You know, this is still okay. It's not the worst. And next turn, we have amazing follow-up. So it's still a fine scenario. And Dark Ruler is the tip number two, which I want to mention in this video. Dark Ruler is going to be doing serious work next format. Let's say he did not have Ash Blossom. And let's say I set up my full board. That's five negates. It was all stopped with one Dark Ruler. You people need to prepare for Dark Ruler next format. Dark Ruler actually obliterates the Splite. And even if I set up my entire board, it just gets shit on by one Dark Ruler. So pick up your Dark Rulers. Use your Dark Rulers. Dark Ruler, I'm telling you guys, I play this format a lot. Dark Ruler is massive in the Pope format. It destroys Splite. So whether it's in your main deck or side deck, it needs to be in one of there. Okay, tip, pick pick up these tricks. Learn from your boy. I do not want to Valor the Diva because I expect him to go into Gigantic Splite. He opts to go into the Zeus route, which is fine by me. So here he's going to attack them. And in the main phase, he's going to use the effect of Zeus. So because he's using the effect in main phase, I'm going to use the effect Valor here. The reason why is the only way he's able to keep playing with already using a normal summon is Splite Starter. So I just hope he doesn't have Splite Starter. So if I Valor this in the main phase, it's going to force him to use Zeus a second time, making sure that he cannot Zeus in my turn, and with this follow-up, we'll be fine. This also proves why Nimble Beaver is better than Deep Sea Diva. We hard drew two Divas, and Diva specifically specials from deck. So now on our turn, we're able to special Nimble Beaver to special another, another Nimble Beaver from Graveyard. That's why it's better than Deep Sea Diva, because we're not even running Needle Fiber. So now he's going to chain the Zeus, which is fine. I just need him to not have a Splite Starter, and we win the duel. And of course he has a Splite Starter. On top of that, he has every Splite in his deck. What the heck? He's the most broken hand ever. Oh my god. There's nothing we can do at this point. Uh, we were going to lose game number one over here. But you know what? It's fine. We learned that our opponent plays Dark Ruler in the main deck, which is crazy. But we're going to play around that moving forward. He sets up the full Splite. Look at this. Look at this, man. This is all one Splite Starter, by the way. He had one, all one Splite Starter. And look, look at this board, bro. It's like, oh my god. Like... This deck is so good, it's, it's absurd. 
So here we're gonna go into game number two. I told him, like, yo, you cooked me, bro. You got my ass. He cooked me hard. Uh, he's like, I've been watching your videos. I should do you guys too. You guys should literally just subscribe and we'll all watch all my videos. Here you're gonna look at his hand. Okay, I want to specifically show you guys his hand. He has Dark Ruler, Ash, and Called By with full combo. <laughs> I'm about to get cooked. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go swap, which by the way, normal summoning swap frog is probably the best normal summon in the deck because the card that Deep Sea Diva is gonna like Deep Sea Diva brings out another card, right? Well, eventually Ronin will bring out the swap, and starting off with swap frog means if gigantic spike gets negated, it doesn't matter in the slightest because you already have the swap frog for your a spike elf. So summoning swap frog is the best normal summon in this deck. Uh which is why you guys need to play three swap frog it is literally the best normal summon in this deck 100 percent as you guys saw my split play mat uh literally it has, there's a reason why the toads and swap frog is there and i understand it got banned in ocg but it got banned after a long time so it doesn't mean what happens ocg will happen in tcg we'll have this for a while trust here we're going to search for splite smashers we're going to special this out we're going to get split red we're going to go gigantic splite we're going to use the effective gigantic splite special splite carrot here we're going to go to splite elf bring out swap effective this going to toad set set he had no good time to ash blossom whatsoever just because of how i set my cards up so he has a full setup but also he knows he has dark ruler so he wants to save ash for my turn because he has dark ruler so if you guys look at this play i, I prioritize getting spite smashers i saw he mains dark ruler so i prioritize getting defensive cards aside from my actual board so this board is going to be one two three four four negates with monsters and i have seven interruptions in total so he's gonna go i'm gonna bring out dupe frog of course i get dark ruler but that's fine. The beauty of this deck is we have Imperm, we have Spite Smashers, we have Ash Blossoms. This is still a perfect scenario for us. So here he's going to opt to go Swap Frog Effect. This is fine. I'm just going to banish whatever he has. And this is an inherent issue. Uh, trick number three to defeat Spite. Do not let them have a monster in the field. Because of his Swap Frog, you get a special Spite Red, right? And you could just keep what if you had Spite Blue, Spite Jet. Don't let him have his level two in the field. Out that shit ASAP. So with Spite Smashers, we banish that and there's nothing he can do. And that's going to be game. So we're going to go on to game number three now. Uh, let's get it. This is going to be a very interesting game. You already know what it is, baby. I'm not going to lose it. Look at my hand. Oh, my God. Gamma and Nibiru. Time for trick number four. The number one card that destroys this deck, especially with how it's built at the moment, is Gamma. I'm going to show you guys something amazing right now. He's going to use the... Uh, he's going to summon swap, use this effect. If I Gamma this, he cannot split blue. He cannot split jet. There's no level two in the field. Gamma is massive in this mirror match. You Gamma them, they are cooked. They are actually fucked. It does so much against this deck uh, because they have no level two monster in the field anymore. Uh, and th th that's very important. So tip number four of this video, make sure to have Gamma on your side deck when you face this deck. It's insane. You need to out the monster in the field. Here, we're going to normal summon Splite Red and we're going to special Splite Blue. He has a set card and potentially hand traps. I'm going to add Splite Jet. And instantly, I'm going to go Splite Jet to add Splite Starter. And now at this point, I'm going to go Gigantic Splite to bait him. I'm going to use the effect. I don't want to use the effect. I actually want to climb into Zeus. So I specifically use the effect expecting a hand trap. There's no way this guy just passed. He's playing Splite. He has 15 hand traps on the deck. So I expect this to be Imperm. I expect Valor in his hand, Ash, whatever. So I baited one of them. And I'm going to climb up into Zeus. Because Gigantic Splite, this card's so broken, it's not a cost to use the effect. It's part of the effect that it says I cannot le level summon higher in... If the effect resolves so because the effect doesn't resolve even through valor i'm still allowed to summon a zeus because valor essentially negates that effect so here i'm going to attack for 2800 i'm going to climb up into zeus climbing up into zeus i'm going to clear the board call by is gone and i just activate splite start i had a choice to use splite starter i opted not to the reason why is i know zeus is going to put in work on my opponent's turn so i wanted to save splite starter for a follow-up uh and his turn is going to diva i'm going to negate that he's going to summon splite blue you guys now see how much work gamma put in by getting rid of that He's going to go blue, special... Uh, I'm like, I'm going to get rid of that now because he has Jet in his hand. And then he's going to sp Prosperity. And the only answer he has here is Splite Starter. I just have to hope he doesn't draw into Splite Starter. And he draws into Splite Starter. What could you do? We did our best there. It's fine. We literally have Nibiru. And when he goes Splite Starter, summon the Jet from his hand. The fifth summon will be Gigantic Splite. So we're still in a perfect scenario. We're going to Nibiru his ass into the Shadow Realm. And now in our turn, remember that Splite Starter that we saved? That's going to save us. So here we're going to go Splite Starter blue jet this is the beauty of this deck okay the beauty of this deck is not that it puts up five negates even though it puts up five negates seven negates it's the idea that one spite starter equals a plus five so it doesn't matter how late the into the game is we'll get what one spite starter is about to do for me this is one spite starter one spite starter is going to give me two cards in my hand 
This is going to give me a free totally awesome. Like, all this for free. But I often said I told, let me just kill him. I Nightmare Cerberus popped the token. I'm going to now Nightmare Phoenix pop this. If he does not activate Spite Starter, I enter Battle Phase and win. If he does activate Spite Starter, he's going to lose like a thousand life points because via its effect. And I just enter Battle Phase and kill him. So that's just game over here. And that over there is Splite 101. A bunch of tips for you guys. Another huge trick uh, tip. I'm going to lead off with the fifth tip of, of this deck is a huge thing you guys should know is it's very difficult for Splite to clear boards. So you guys need to play the Nightmares in the side in the extra deck to make it happen. And if you could set up a massive board, even if you get Dark Ruler, the only answer really is Zeus. So just be aware that this deck, it is difficult for this deck to outboards. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck list. This is the Splite deck list. Three blue, three jet, three starter, three prosperity. These 12 ensure you resolve your Splite cards. The best normal summons are three nimble beaver, three swap frog. These 18 are the 18 starters. These 18 starters are absolutely broken. And then two red, two carrot, one Ronin, one dupe one smashers and 15 hand traps this deck plays 15 hand traps because it has no bricks dupe frog is not even a brick normal something at level two is great for this deck and post side deck okay you side out specifically one red one carrot one dupe frog one splite smashers which is the perfect number for gamma so post side deck you remove one if one red one carrot one dupe frog one smashers you remove these four going second and you're left now with 19 hand traps. This is against most decks. And you don't need to play more than nine, well, 18 hand traps plus driver. And then at that point, if you're really scared of the opponent, you could add in a little more, maybe two more DD Crows at max. But you don't need to play more than 20 hand traps. You don't want to brick. And you still have 18 starters, which is absurd. And these three that are still good to open. So that's the idea behind the deck. And uh, it's this deck's amazing, man. I highly advise it. And against back row, like if you're not playing, if you're not playing against Splite, you're just gonna automatically win anyways. So you don't like you only really need to have this deck ready for Splite. You're able to play cards like Summon Limit and Deep Barrier going first because you're already maining so many hand traps. So there's not much you could side like absurdly broken cards going first. And Summon Limit in this deck is broken because if you get Splite Elf going and you're both under Summon Limit, Splite Elf is gonna give you so give you so much value that you just auto win. Uh, you could play more back row hate, but if you play this deck, destroys back row hate macro decks uh it doesn't destroy floodgates but it like i mean it kind of does like you could play with just uh darks you could play with just fires etc and they're all thunder so uh three split elf highly advise it for grind games one nightmare cerberus one nightmare phoenix three gigantic splite one toad uh two is okay i think one is all you really need one gin buster very good card it comes up one phantom knight chris javelin comes up gachi gachi sky cavalry downer zeus this deck is beautiful I absolutely love this deck. Highly advise it. Before we end off this video, I do highly advise, guys, check out the beautiful play mats in the description below. These are literally, the, it's literally the best playmat I've ever had in my life. Uh, one of my, literally my number one favorite we've ever had. This is my number one favorite. Alex is my number two favorite. And the very first Mighty Master playmat. These are my three favorite playmats we've ever done on the channel. They're absolutely beautiful. They're like my, they're like my children, my 13 children. I love them. So make sure to go check it out. There's only 30 at the time of this video, 30 left. And there's going to be more than going to release on the release of Splite. But it's just all we have at the moment left in stock. I love you guys. Splite is a serious problem. We need to prepare for it. Ah, it's incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.